Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event for the evening. Once again, these two are not strangers to each other. If you've been watching NWE Amped on Rogers TV, you've seen these two battle out quite a bit. Some might say it's the, the Cain and Abel of the NWE, the yin and the yang, the good and the bad. No matter what happens, these two are inevitable. But this might be the final nail in the coffin for this multi-year feud between these two competitors. And there you see Precious Preston. Accompanied, of course, by his agent, Mr. Wallace. Precious Preston claims his 266 pounds of toned physique. You be the judge at home on that one. He doesn't waste any time getting in the face of these fans either. Nice. Throwing trash at them, that's uncalled for. And there you see the man who helped put this in motion, NWE General Manager Ladies and Buck gentlemen, Mally, sitting in ring first, accompanied to the ring by his agent, Mr. Wallace, hailing from Boca Raton, Florida, weighing in at a stacked and jacked 266 pounds, Precious Preston Carter. Former champion Precious Preston wants that gold back more than anything. And with a giant sack of money with a dollar sign on it, has secured his shot tonight to try to win an opportunity at that belt in November against the reigning champion, King Heath. But if there's one man who wants to stand in his way, put a stop to it, it's the one who holds the right to that championship match, El Fuego Dragon. He won that opportunity by winning the Battle Royal. And here he comes, El Fuego Dragon. Former champion himself. Take a look at those ribs. He's got a kendo stick. He might need that weapon. The odds are stacked against him in a notice qualifications match. But those ribs once again re-injured at the hands of King Heath last show. And his opponent from the Dragon Slayer. Watch out from behind. At Precious Preston wasting no time. He's using that kendo stick that El Fuego Dragon brought it against him. And he's choking him with it. There's no disqualification. There's nothing stopping him from doing that here this tonight. This is a no disqualification match there for El Fuego Dragon's Road to Gold Championship opportunity in November. The stipulation, you heard it from the ring announcer, no disqualification and the winner of this match gets that championship opportunity at Road to Gold in November. Oh, Precious Preston throws El Fuego Dragon Face first into that steel ring post. He's posing for the camera. Standing right on those injured ribs of El Fuego Dragon. Those ones that King Heath hit last month with the chair over and over again. And Precious, he needs to stop arguing with these fans. He needs to focus on El Fuego Dragon and that's what happens. Gave El Fuego a chance. Shots to the chest. Oh, Precious Preston went downstairs. And a forearm, clubbing forearm to the back of El Fuego Dragon. Into the railing. Those steel railings here at the 8th Hussars Sports Center in Sussex, New Brunswick, where we are live tonight. We thank you for joining us live on Rogers TV and at RogersTV.com. Precious. Take him over to the table, the timekeeper's table, face first into that too. Oh, and taking the time for a healthy beverage. Spits it right in the face of El Fuego. Such disrespect. There's no love lost between these two. They've had countless battles. Oh! And El Fuego Dragon delivered some H2O Express style to the temple of Precious Preston. Forearms to the chest. Preston, oh, pushes those ribs into the corner of the ring. Scientifically proven to be the hardest part from WWE scientists. Precious Preston trying to get El Fuego back up. Throws him back into the ring. 
It's no disqualification. He doesn't have to throw him in the ring, but he has to pin him in the ring. He can do whatever he wants outside of the ring. Precious Press is, Precious Press is sorry, standing over El Fuego. Pulls him back to the corner. Irish whip across. And El Fuego's ribs hit that turnbuckle cover. It looks like it's soft padding. When you get injured ribs, you run full force into that. Oh no! That kendo stick right to the ribs. This might be over already. El Fuego dragging. I don't know how much more he can take of it. And Precious Press threatens the referee. It is no disqualification, so I guess that would be legal. El Fuego off the ropes, ducks the kendo stick. Fez Press into the punches to the side of the head. I think those were open fists, so it's okay. Fuego Dragon has the momentum here now, but he's clutching those ribs. And you know King Heath is watching from wherever he is tonight. He's a big oh, did you hear that chop? Wow. The reverberation from that, you can see El Fuego holding on to his hand. Two big chops, he's saying one more. These fans want it. Of course they do. Oh, right there. They'll support any harm that comes to Precious Preston. Three vicious chops. Face first into the turnbuckle. That kendo stick is still in play. Precious Preston, dazed, confused in that corner. Dragons up on the turnbuckle. We would have count along here. Oh wait, Precious puts a stop to that power bomb. Oh, a power bomb out of the corner. Didn't get all of it, but he got enough of it. Fuego is down. His back of the head hit the mat. One, two, two and a half on that. Precious Preston again spending way too much time with these fans. He needs to focus on El Fuego if he really wants that championship opportunity. He's going to stop wasting time in the ring. He's giving El Fuego time to recuperate. Those ribs are hurt, but Fuego is a tough competitor. He's not going to back down from the beating that King Heath gave him. Shoulder tackles in the corner right into those ribs. Preston, Precious Preston has a strategy here tonight. Oh, and a returning that chop. Drapes his 266 pound frame over the, the back of El Fuego. And there's Mr. Wallace. That's what he paid for in hiring him to have him in his corner. No disqualifications. Oh, and right down at meaty thigh right across the back. It's a no disqualification match. So Mr. Wallace is essentially a second competitor on the side of Precious Preston. Cover one, two, and the kick out of two. Precious Preston thinks it's three. He might throw a temper tantrum here if he doesn't get his way. Ref saying, nope, definitely two. Pulls Fuego to the middle of the ring, off the ropes. Down with a 747. One, two. Now maybe he needs more than 266 pounds for that to finish him off. Precious Preston. Absolutely angry at the referee for not giving him the three count. Drops the big elbow. And again going for the pin, he might have him this time. One, two. Kicks out at two. And again, he's frustrated with the referee, throwing a bit of a tantrum. And that's what happens when you got all the money in the world and nobody to tell you to stop. There it is, he wrenches in the that camel clutch. The arms draped around over the knee that puts so much more pressure on the lower back and those ribs. And it's hard to see through the mask, but you can see the eyes of El Fuego Dragon. There's some pain in those eyes. Fans chanting. Fuego feels their power, giving them a second win here. He's gonna, yeah, pulls the legs right out from underneath him. Fuego is still hurting. He's found the kendo stick. Is he going to use it? He's got it in his hands. Here we go. What's he going to do? In! Oh, clothesline with it. And again, right across the neck. A 
another one to the protest of Mr. Wallace, but it's a no disqualification match. The ref can't do anything here. Oh! Down he goes. Right across the head with that kendo stick. Here's the pin. One, two. The forceful kick out at two by Precious Preston. Not ready to give it up yet. El Fuego getting this crowd going. They're on their feet. They're up in the stands. They're loud. They're clapping. He channels the energy of these fans. It gives them his second win. From the top. Back shoulder, but man, he landed awkwardly. Here's the cover. One, two. I think he tried that move for the uh, for the momentum, but when he landed, those ribs hit hard off the, the ring. And that injury given to him by the NWE champion, King Heath. You can definitely see it's only been a couple of weeks. He's still hurting. You hear that flesh on flesh, those chops and kicks in the corner. Irish whip across, Precious Preston reverses it. Precious in, takes a boot to the face. Fuego up to the top. Is this going to be a... There it is. Tilt a world DDT. And if you saw that, the face of Precious Preston landed right on his knee. I don't know if that's any better or worse than landing on the mat. One, two. two. Kick out at two, but again, look at El Fuego. Those ribs are hurting. He's trying his darndest here to fight through the pain. He's going out of the ring. What's he looking for? What's down there? It's a battlefield on the outside already. Going to the other side. Maybe he's got something stashed away. Oh, my goodness. He's got the chair. You saw what kind of damage that could do uh, earlier. What's he going to do with it? Throws it in the ring. Mr. Wallace pulling Precious out of the ring as quick as he could. He knew it was coming. Preston saying he's a smart cookie there, but I think that was all Mr. Wallace had the sixth sensor to get his client out of the ring. Well, Quake was a bit disappointed, but he's going to go out and join them. In the corner, off the, the steel railings here. Precious reverses it. Throws him in and over. El Fuego's now in with the crowd, and what does he do? He's, dis he's disconnecting the railing. He's they're leaving the ringside area. They can do this. I don't think he can pin him out there, but everything's fair game inside the eight Hussars Sports ah, Center here in ah, Sussex. You like that? Look at his face, Rogers. Ah, you like that? Where's he going? He's got he's got El Fuego. He's coming around the back here. Where's he going? Into the table, set up at back. Just as the intermission, there was merchandise there. Now they're they're cleaned out, and this could be bad. They're trapped between the tables. It's hard to get a camera over there. This has gone off the rails. Oh, he's tearing up the signs of these fans. These fans are dangerously close in a non-disqualification match. And they're coming around here now. Well, they're coming out toward me. Fans are trying to get out of the way. What's going on here? What's going on? Yes, you are. But whoa, whoa. Oh, easy, guys. Easy. Come on. Take it back to the ring. Hello, everyone at home. It's Precious Preston. I'm killing a flavor dragon right now. He is. You might need a breath mint, too. Come on. I didn't, I didn't sign up for this. Where are they going? Well, they're... They're back into the glass. The ice is going in this arena over the over the weekend after everything's torn down. So the glass is up. Fuego's down. Precious Preston now. They're going to the other side of the arena. They're going to the, the service entrance back there. This is, oh, you saw the glass buckle when he threw him into it. This is falling apart. This is chaos. I don't know what's going on. We got a camera trying to get the shot back there. These fans getting in the face of Precious Preston. El Fuego is down. And I don't know if he's going to get back up. Precious Preston has had his way here. We're heading now. Hopefully, they're heading back toward the ring. There we go. Oh, no. They're fans sliding out of the way. Well, they're into the truck. 
That's the truck that has the gear here tonight. Drago, he pushes Preston into it. And he's getting a ladder. Maybe a, a sign of what's to come in a couple of weeks in the ladder match. Into the face of Precious Preston. He's down. Security trying to keep the fans at bay. They are excited. They're on edge. And wh what's Fuego doing? Is he just going to drive away? Oh, oh, he's going up to the top. What is he doing? He's going. He's up on the truck. That rental truck that, that brought all the gear here tonight. He's up. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's down off the top of the truck. Warn the heavens. The dragon has taken flight. El Fuego Dragon off the top of that truck. But those ribs from such a distance. Those ribs are hurt. Precious Preston took the brunt of that. He's down. Fuego still nursing that injury at the hands of King Heath. These, this match might be over. I don't even know if they're going to be able to get back to the ring to finish this off. Fuego, he's up, barely falling back into the truck. Carter, Precious Preston isn't moving. He's got him here. He's got to get him back to the ring. He's got to get him back to the ring. That's where this needs to go. This is no disqualification, but it's not false count anywhere. Like their Miramichi street fight a couple of months back where they practically tore each other apart. And they're back in the ring now. Finally, we might be able to get a winner in this. I don't know if either of these guys have anything left. Fuego. Signaling here, what's he, what, oh this might be it. El Fuego's got him in his sights. He's up, oh caught the top, he's down, he's got him, this might be it. Fuego trying to get over those injured ribs, keeping him from getting over there. Fuego grabs him, one, two, three, wait. I, oh, Mr. Wallace again, calls the referee out of the ring. El Fuego Dragon had him pinned. But Mr. Wallace hauled him out of the ring to break the count. And that's what Precious Preston pays him for. He watches back. Fuego's had enough. Fuego's had enough. He's going after Mr. Wallace. Wallace is now in the ring. It's a dangerous spot for him to be in. He's an agent, not a wrestler. Fuego. Uh-oh. Mr. Wallace is in for a world of hurt here. All right, Precious Preston has a chair. There's the hit. Mr. Wallace is down. Precious Preston waiting for his time. Chair to the head. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. One, two. Oh, kicks out. Almost had him. I can't believe it. El Fuego Dragon kicked out. And you see on the face, Precious Preston can't believe it either. Incredible. No disqualifications. That steel chair is legal. I thought he had him there. Precious pressing again with that chair. What's he going to do? He's already hit him once. That's going to be enough. Listen to these fans screaming for Fuego to get up, get up. You might want to stay down, roll into the ring. And again with that chair, Fuego desperately on the ropes, trying to pull himself up, never giving up in this match. Oh, oh no! He tried to hit El Fuego Dragon, ricocheted off the ropes, hit himself. El Fuego Dragon, is he going for the Dragon Sleeper? He's got it! He's got it in! Is he gonna tap? He taps! El Fuego Dragon is victorious! El Fuego Dragon holds on to that championship opportunity! El Fuego Dragon! An incredible match! Both of these guys pushing each other to the limit! I thought we were in for some bad things here. Wait a minute! What is this? That's the Herald! The representative of King Heath, the NWE champion. champion. What's he doing here? I don't. Just casually stepping over. 
Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The Herald grabbing the attention of El Fuego Dragon. But look who it is. It's the NWE champion, King Heath. El Fuego's got to turn around here. He's got to turn around. King Heath has the belt. Oh, right across the head of El Fuego Dragon. These two are scheduled to meet in November. If both of these guys could even make it to November. King Heath just bashing him in the head with that NWE championship belt. Picks up the crown. Don't forget he's the king. King Heath letting El Fuego Dragon know that despite the fact they're not fighting this month, he hasn't forgot about him at all. And now he spit on him. The king has spit on El Fuego Dragon. And the Herald just walks all over him. The king calling for them to get him out of the king's ring. El Fuego Dragon. King Heath asks these fans to bow before their king. I don't see a single fan on their knees out here. They're on their feet, but they're on their feet booing the king. The NWE champion holding that gold high above his head. He's made his intentions known that El Fuego Dragon is not going to have an easy passage into November for his championship match. Spits on him again on the way out of the ring calling for the Herald to hold the ropes for his majesty as he walks out of here. It's good to be the king, isn't it? The king walking out here now, holding that Ladies belt high above his head. Let's take a look if we've got some replays from that match, that vicious battle. We will be live at the here we Logan go, you see it here. Senator Precious Preston attacking El Fuego Miramichi Dragon just before the match starts. Saturday, Hits him with the kendo stick a couple of times. For NWE, here, Dice. El Fuego oh, Dragon. Like the the dragon. Match. Thank you, Ed Dragon. Okay, kendo stick. You see it right to the head. And down. This was a vicious battle. It spilled outside of the ring into the glass. These boards. The ice is going in this weekend, but it's not there yet. Here you see him throwing him into that truck. And Fuego from the top of the truck. Down, landing on Precious Preston. That was what changed this match. This is what signaled the end. Because you see here, he locked in that dragon sleeper. And that was it for Precious Preston. He tapped out right there. El Fuego held onto it, but King Heath. Knows who his opponent is and decided to get the upper hand here. Came in and attacked El Fuego Dragon. Precious Preston once again doesn't get the job done. You know that's got to hurt him. But the eyes are now on November. Road to gold. King Heat defending his NWE championship against El Fuego Dragon. Folks, and there you see El Fuego Dragon still hurting from that beatdown from King Heat. Folks, on behalf of everybody here, we want to thank you all for joining us for this incredible live presentation of NWE Amped live on Rogers TV. Thank you to everyone in front of and behind the cameras. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a great evening, and we'll see you in Logieville on September 28th.